Hello everybody and welcome back to the Python 3.4 beginners tutorial and today we will be talking about return values. So in the last episode I talked to you about function parameters and I made a function called doubled age that basically when you put your age in it doubles it and it printed it out except all I did was remove the print function. And basically what return values are is um, think of it as a way of holding back a value for you and I'll get into more depth about that in just a little bit but first I'm just going to replace that print function with a return and I'm going to return my new age and that's just the age times two so if I go ahead and call that function down here doubled age and then I'll just say my age is 20 or something and if I run python and then functions.py you'll see nothing happen. Well I mean I told it to return but it didn't really return anything. Well that is because like I said it's like holding it back. So if I go ahead and uh, first of all I put 20 in here so that my new age should equal 40. Now say I set my function to a variable. Yes I can do that and uh, I'm gonna set my function I'm gonna call it a and make that stand for age I'm gonna set that to the function doubled age uh, 20 now if I run this still nothing happens well what happens if I print my variable a well now I get outputted 40 because I returned it or I basically just held back my value and then when I stored my function into a variable it set the value to the variable that I set the function to. So uh, a better way of explaining this to make it less complicated is I returned this and I used my variable a, I set that to the function. Now basically what that did was instead of setting it to the whole entire function, it set it to uh, the return value or new age in my case so whatever new age equals is basically what a equals now so this equals 40 well now a equals 40 and I printed a and since 40 was equal well, a was equal to 40 or our return value it printed 40 up here so that's basically all you need to know about return values I know this was a short video but that's basically all there is to it Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will answer them for you. And if you like the video, leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next one.